Hey, Brittany, what day is it today? It's Dr. Gregor Thursday. This is the day where we go through our favorite recipes from nutritionfacts.org, from the How Not to Die Cookbook and How Not to Diet Cookbook, which is coming out very soon. So today's recipe, we are in the How Not to Die Cookbook. It's on page 176, and it's the stuffed sweet potatoes with balsamic date glaze. I'm really excited to share this with you because my family adores this recipe. Super simple and easy. There's really two parts of this recipe. There's the balsamic date glaze, which we're going to make first. And this would be perfect for a side for Thanksgiving or just to get you in the fall mood. If you have lots of sweet potatoes like I do, this is the recipe for you. So we're going to jump into it. We're going to make the balsamic date glaze first. And again, because this recipe is coming from the How Not to Die cookbook, which you should all go and purchase. I'll have a link to it down below. I won't be giving out exact measurements to anything, but you can get a general good idea of what's in it with the ingredients and kind of watching what I do. Again, this would be perfect for Thanksgiving or really any use of a sweet potato that you have. So the balsamic date glaze is in the front of the book. It's on page eight. And this recipe is so simple, it's actually only three ingredients. You just need a high-speed blender. I have pre-soaked our dates in some water, and this recipe is really simple. So soaking your dates just makes it really easy for your blender to use if you have a Vitamix or not. I always suggest soaking your dates if you're having, especially if you want it to mix up really well in your blender or if it's having difficulties. So I'm not gonna use all of these, we're gonna save some of these for a different recipe that I have. And I'm using medjool dates. Those are my favorite. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to use all the water from the dates that have been soaking. It'll just make it a little bit sweeter. And it's a great way to use everything up. So the rest of the dates I have in here we'll use for some other, probably for date paste to be honest, but for a different recipe. All right, I've got my water and my dates, and now I'm gonna add some balsamic vinegar. And this is non-flavored. I'm using just one that I found at our grocery store. And that is it. It is so simple and easy. I'm sure you could tweak this recipe by adding in different spices or kind of your own flair on it, but this sounds fantastic for over our sweet potatoes, or just to use in lots of different recipes. Who doesn't love balsamic date glaze? The sound of that sounds amazing. All right, and I'm gonna blend until smooth, and then we'll set aside while we make our main dish. Super simple. Once your date glaze is finished, you can go ahead and move it to a container. I just moved it to this glass jar right here. It smells amazing. And the really ahead of time thing that you're gonna do is just bake four sweet potatoes. I have four right here. I've just baked them in the oven until they're tender. And really gonna stuff them and then reheat them in dinner set or a side is set. So I have some green peas that I have lightly steamed. I'm just gonna put them in a mixing bowl or this glass measuring cup. I also have some green onions that I've chopped. Very green. And all we're gonna do is we're gonna take the sweet potatoes that you've um, pre-cooked. I love baking them because they get like caramely and wonderful and gooey. And all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut them open lengthwise cut them down, and we're gonna scoop out the insides just to form little boats. So like I said, this is perfect for Thanksgiving. And mine ranged in all different sizes. This would really work with any sweet potato that you have too. Turned out beautiful. And then I always just remove the little like bottom nubs. I just find that that is a part I don't want to eat. So I just like cut those parts off. The skin and everything else stays. Some of them are really big. Some of them are on the smaller side. Looks fantastic. Should be super easy to work with. And then all you're gonna do is you're gonna scoop out, not all of it, but just enough that we can have a little bit of filling to mix in with our peas and our green onion. So I'm just gonna scoop out a little bit of the inside, still leaving 
its integrity intact. You can go ahead and repeat this step with all of them. All right, mix together your inners of your sweet potato that you've just did with the peas and the scallions. Should mix together really easily. And now we're gonna restuff our sweet potatoes. And I like to make them overly stuffed. You should have enough to, to be pretty generous with this. With this recipe, we like to play around with the different spices that we use. It's really fun to kind of change that up all the time. I've also done this with a purple potato and that always worked really well. Once everything is stuffed and you're ready to go, you can just reheat them. We're just gonna warm everything up and then we're gonna add a bunch of really yummy stuff on top. I'm gonna show you guys what we love to do with it. And I know you guys are gonna like this recipe. Again, keep it in mind for Thanksgiving or just next time you go to the grocery store, grab the ingredients. This is a really, really simple one. So I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like. They are so pretty. Lots of green and orange. And I'm gonna reheat these right now and I'll see you guys when they're ready. Once your sweet potatoes are all warm, I like to put them on a platter. It just makes it look really, really nice. And then there's some toppings. So I have some slivered almonds that are raw that I just like to sprinkle on top. Gives it a nice crunch too. And then some black pepper. Just a little bit. And then I just drizzle on some of this balsamic date glaze. You can um, keep this in the fridge, just shake it up for you when you use it. It's so good on so many things. And I always have extra from this recipe, so. This is just so delicious. So I know you guys are gonna like this one. I'm gonna get a fork and try it. And this has just been a hit in our house. So I really hope you guys will get the cookbook and try this recipe out. You guys know I like easy and simple recipes and this one definitely marks all of that. And then you also should definitely make this date glaze. It is just amazing. All right, let me grab a fork and I'll try it. Let me give this a taste. It has such a beautiful array of like textures and flavors. This will be a hit with everyone in your family. And this is fantastic, that balsamic date glaze. So I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. Again, you can get it in the How Not to Die cookbook, which is out. And I have a link to it down in the description box down below. Make sure you check out this recipe. I'll have photographs of it on our website. But I really know you guys are gonna enjoy this one. It's simple, it's easy. You can change it up in so many different ways. Instead of peas, you can add different beans. There's so many different ideas. So I really hope you guys will check this out and try it. I'll see you guys on Thursday for our next Dr. Gregor Thursday recipe from the book. And I'll see you guys um, on the channel with our recipes as well. So make sure you subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys real soon for the next one. Thanks for watching. I'm gonna go devour some sweet potatoes. I'll see you later, bye.